One thing that can happen with magnetic loops, particularly those used outside in a salty environment, is that contacts can be degraded. In this case, I've got a bit of printed circuit board material to which the trimmer capacitor is soldered that makes a touch contact with the aluminium element that comprises the rest of the loop. One day when I went out, I found the SWR was not the usual one-to-one -one, and the tuning was much less sharp. Oh. There's probably some problems with the electrical contact between the variable capacitor connection and the metal element of the magnetic loop. It's not the first time. If you use a magnetic loop regularly, you'll probably have to open it and ensure the contacts are shiny and clean every year or two at least. I then realised that this bit, the gamma style feed system, was bent out of shape. It's stiff wire, but it's still bendable. Bending it about two centimetres resulted in the following change. Ooh. Uh, VK3YE, pedestrian mobile, VK3TQ. Well, good afternoon, Peter. Yeah, I haven't, heard, I haven't worked here for a while. You've got a very good signal here, Peter, find the nine. You look up the cluster or whatever and find out something's there, and then uh, by the time you've gone and had a look, uh, you, you know, it's, it's gone. VK3YE, pedestrian mobile, VK3YUN. Yeah, the, the, the one on 265 is at Redcliffe. Yeah, the CW's not narrow enough to uh, completely uh, differentiate. Um, the moral, if you have an antenna you use for pedestrian mobile, particularly in salty environments, make sure you take it apart every year or so and clean the contacts. It could make a difference to its performance. If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out my ebooks. All have been favourably reviewed and you can get them for a low price in electronic form. Visit my website vk3ye.com and follow the links or search their titles in Amazon.